Hi everybody, my name is Tim Gresh. I'm a professional bike fitter in Westchester, Pennsylvania. This video will be on brands of cranks when going shorter. Now, I do have a couple videos on the topic of why you might consider going to shorter cranks and how that can positively impact your bike fit. Um, but this video is gonna be simply on the hardware. Um, what cranks are we gonna install when we're going shorter? Now, we do this quite often here at the studio and uh, have learned a lot and have found a lot of really cool brands that I'm gonna show you today. Hopefully this clears the path towards getting shorter cranks on your bike. Now, in terms of lengths that we're going to discuss, I'm not gonna cover 165 cranks because those are mass produced or they've been mass produced for quite some time. They're gonna be fairly easy to find across all brands. Um, so this video will be covering 160 and under because that's where it can get a little bit challenging. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the brands. Now at the top here, we're gonna start off with Shimano and SRAM. Now these two are gonna be sort of the most obvious because typically you will have either SRAM or Shimano on your bike. So it makes sense just to take that SRAM crank off or that Shimano crank off and just put another one on that's just like it, but has a shorter length. Now. 160 is available in Shimano and SRAM. Now with Shimano, it's available across all tiers in their 12 speed. So from 105 all the way to Ultegra and Durace, they offer 160 crank. So that is really cool that they're doing that. Um, for a short period of time, Shimano did offer um, 160 cranks in 11 speed but they only did that with 105. They kind of discontinued it. However, they are still making just the arms and then you have to get the chain ring separately. Um, I'll leave part numbers for this below. Now, with that said, I do often use the 12 speed Shimano cranks in 160s and put it on 11 speed bikes and it works pretty well. Uh, where you might consider this 11 speed crank would be if you maybe have a 10 speed Shimano bike. Um, this will actually work well for that or of course, an 11 speed bike. Now moving over to SRAM. SRAM, they make 160s in Rival. Um, they don't make it, at least as far as I know, in Force or Red. So that would be your option, a SRAM Rival crank in 160. Moving down to the next brand, this would be J Cobb, also known as John Cobb. You can get these at the website speedandcomfort.com. Now, John Cobb, big shout out. These things are awesome. I've been working with this brand for quite a few years. They've been doing an awesome job kind of leading the way in shorter cranks. I will pull in a John Cobb crank when I need 155, 150, or 145. That's where they come in. Now, a couple things I like about these cranks. First one is the spindle. It's a 24 millimeter which is the same as Shimano. So if you've got a Shimano crank, this will go right in and work. Also, it's fairly light and the cost is good. It's 398 bucks, which for a shorter than 165 crank is pretty good. It's kind of on the lower end while still being a really good crank. Um, they do have these in a compact or mid compact chain ring. However, uh, you can remove the crank or the chain rings and replace it with something else uh, using um, this eight bolt pattern on the inside. We're gonna move on to kind of the second half of this video, the next three brands. These are gonna be a little bit more um, uh, requiring some tech savvy on your part in the installation and ordering because they're uh, sort of sold in kind of a modular system where you get the spindle, you order that in the length you need, you get the crank arm, and then you get the spider and the chain ring. So you gotta kinda know what you're doing there. So first off would be rotor. Um, I'll typically use rotor if I need a 155 or a 150. Uh, rotor's gonna be a little bit more premium crank than a cob, a little lighter. So I'll pull in a rotor if I need kind of a higher end crank. Also, they have those with a power meter too for the rotor. Next would be Appleman. So Appleman is, uh, I think a really cool company. Uh, the guy that runs it, Matt Appleman, I think he's a really cool guy. I love communicating with him and bouncing ideas off of him 
and talking to him about crank length and I love that he's taking crank length seriously and it kind of shows because he offers Appleman cranks in 160, 155, 145, 135, and 100, which is really impressive. Also, he will have uh, different colors to choose from. So you can get super creative, pick the color of your ar crank arms, the spider, and make it look really cool. I actually put one of these on my gravel bike and I love it. It's a really good crank. So Appleman, great job, sir. Uh, and last one would be 5Dev. So 5Dev, I started working with a couple months ago. They do a lot of cranks for like e-mountain bikes and just kind of mountain bikes in general, but they are getting more into road and gravel. Um, one crank that, crank that they offer does work really well for gravel bikes, and I did one for a Custom 7 recently. And just like Rotor and Appleman, it's a modular system where you get your spindle, your crank arms, and so on, but really well made, uh, machined in California. They kind of have this unique look where it's kind of milled out in the middle there. And I'm gonna use 5Dev if I need a 160, 155, 145, and 135. Uh, so those are the brands that I'm typically using here at the studio. Hopefully this list will grow as the trend of shorter cranks starts picking up because I think there is a huge amount of benefit in going shorter when it's needed, it's definitely overlooked. It's so cool that we have these options and it will probably be growing as time goes on. So there you have it. I hope this is helpful to you. Please like and subscribe, it helps the channel. And until next time, enjoy every ride.